Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host White Wolf NLD and we have finally reached the last level of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Now this is a pretty straightforward mission, there is no stealth, it's pretty much guns blazing, but there is some tactics to this mission. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I find it, the easiest way to do. Um, so what you're gonna do is go to the right immediately and there's two guards patrolling. And one thing you have to notice and know by now is you are completely naked. You have your binocular and your fiber wire, but no weapons. You need to pick them up from the shed. So we're gonna go through this door and get down there as fast as possible because they will open fire. It might take you a couple of attempts to get this done without being damaged too much. Um, it is frustrating, I know. What you want to do is take your weapons and close the door. And stand in this corner, basically let them come to you. If you let them come to you, there will be no problem whatsoever. Basically, you need to wait them out and be sure that there's no more coming up to you. And I think I had everyone that came up to me right about now. That means it's a pretty good time to scout and since it's clear trying to lure some more guys, see if there's anyone there, but still there's no one coming. Tension bar is going down also. So yeah, this is a pretty good time to start loading up on weapons and ammunition. I'm taking the son of shotgun. And if you have the M4 unlocked, I advise you to take that one with the maximum amount of ammo. Uh, yeah, you can, you're gonna need the sniper for one shot only. Um, there is a method to shoot him through the window, however I find this method to be more easy. Zoom on him, and he's down, now he is, okay, then you can drop the sniper rifle, and now we're gonna go into the basement first, because we need to grab the church key. Now sometimes it may pl play out differently than I am doing here, um, you will have to figure that out for yourself. Sometimes guards will come up running where they might not be here. For example, this one is not very common to be here. Most of the times he will already be down. Right now I'm hearing all the footsteps around me, so I am trying to stay on guard and not be caught off guard since we need to pick the lock here and that would obviously be a perfect time for those guys to pop me in the back well since he's not coming I'm using the map trick to speed things up grab the church key and then we're going to head back where we came from I find uh, going in through the front door the best way I do hear someone. I think he's here on the stairs. Hmm? Yeah, he is. Okay, now we're gonna head back. And come to think of it. I still need to get myself a submachine gun, which that guy inside may have dropped. So we're gonna head back fast. Normally this would not be necessary, but since I do, don't have the SMG yet, we're gonna double back and see if he dropped it. Well, he doesn't. Maybe the guy in the stairs? Okay, then we're gonna just go into the front door and collect the SMG from one of the guards there. Now from this point on it's all basically a matter of uh, placing yourself properly so you can't get hit or barely. For example, right behind this door there's gonna be a guard, so you wanna walk into his field of view and shoot there. There's a second one now. Third one may be running up now, sometimes, but I think we already took care of this guy. 
So if you don't have the SMG yet, like me, pick it up here and start collecting them for the ammo. Because this gun is going to make your life completely easier. First thing you're going to want to do is co go come up here to the right. And when you're going to open this door, be sure to stand on the right because that way they can barely shoot at you. And through this door it's on the left side. There's two guards here too. There is a bunch of guys downstairs which we're also going to be taking care of, but there's also still a sniper upstairs on the left and in the, on the bottom too, of course. And you can see now that I'm trying to figure out where he is. Like I said, there is no stealth whatsoever in this mission. That's for basically because it's the end level. Be sure to keep restocking your ammo if you're getting low because you're gonna need it. I'm trying to see if that sniper is still up top here. Since I can't really see him. I know that they're below below here. Well, that didn't work properly. And as you can see, I got hit really badly. Uh, it means one hit and I'm dying now. I should still be able to complete this mission, so let's hope our best. But I am going to play a, a bit more careful now than I did before. Trying to scout out their locations. And yeah, I'm being extremely careful because I do not want to get killed at this point. Since we're nearly there. There's two of them there. Not much ammo left though. Trying to figure out a way to hit this guy, which seems impossible from this angle. Yeah, there's not really much point in staying here because I have to remove or relocate to get those two. If 
think there's about two of them left now. says peace in the heart. Now he's in the confession booth and if you look there with your sniper rifle scope you will notice that there is a, like a playing card or whatever it is with a heart on it. Now what you need to do is use your sniper and aim on that heart and shoot through it. There you see the heart. And then you will get this event to play. And that means you're nearly done. Now this is basically the last part of the mission. What I like to do is get behind here. And you can basically use any weapon you want to shoot him up top there. I decided to go for the sniper since I didn't have any health to go into a gunfight. And there we go. That's the end of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. I hope you'll enjoy this playthrough. I certainly did. I can't wait for the next part. My son, I, I knew you will come back. Please, take this. It will protect you and keep you from harm. Pray for me, my friend. And promise me you will follow the right path. Promise me to live your life the right way. Promise me to follow your calling. Promise me. I promise. You have been a friend to me. But I must leave this place. As you see, I can be of better use elsewhere. My son, always watch your step. Carry this crucifiso, a symbol of the good things in human beings. Questo ti proteggerà da lui. Thank you, Father. I must leave. Always knew. I never belonged in this world. I wasn't made for this. But I'll never forget those who betrayed me and those who never failed my trust. I'll be carrying nothing from Contrano but this lesson. Never trust anyone and rely on your instincts. Forget the past. I'll never find peace here. So, I'll seek justice for myself. I'll choose the truth I like. Yeah, so once again I want to thank each and every one of you for all the views, the likes, and I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Um, I'm going to continue with the next one, and also I want to give you a short, quick notice that I have managed to get my hands on a PS3, and I've already started recording the very first Metal Gear Solid from 1998, so I'm looking forward to bringing you more stealth gameplay. Keep tuned, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed and want to see more, drop, drop those likes, and as always, keep it safe, keep it cool, 